Queen for Chase Young. Would you do it? Team Keep It Clean. What's going on? It's Graven here with another video. Happy 7-Eleven Day too. Make sure you go out and get your Slurpee. I think they're giving them away for free or something like that. I don't know what the deal is. But anyway, go get you one, especially because it's so hot outside. Now, something that had a lot of Ravens fans hot, both outside and inside, was this conversation. The conversation about a hypothetical. And it's funny how NFL fans, we can just get so worked up, even off of hypothetical stuff. Just questions. Um, and just this scenario, <laughs> it had a lot of Ravens fans like that yesterday. Uh, because it's been floating around, that something that Bleacher Report put out, and they put out a hypothetical of the Washington Commanders trading Chase Young um, and a fourth-round draft pick to the Baltimore Ravens, but them receiving Patrick Queen. Now, is that something that y'all would be down with? Would that be a trade that you would accept? Let's read their reasoning. Said, feels like the Baltimore Ravens are the forgotten contender in the AFC. Not only did they get to the postseason without Lamar Jackson down the stretch, but they were also knocking on the door to score a go-ahead touchdown in a wild card round when Sam Hubbard took a fumble 98 yards the other way. Well, Bleach Report, what was the reason for bringing that up? Like, we, we don't, like, don't nobody want to relive that, man. That was tough. That was tough. And, and even though we went into that game with low expectations, still, that was painful. Anyway, continuing, he said, but if the Ravens want to continue to contend in the conference that boasts Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, and Justin Herbert, they have to play great defense. Adding an edge rusher such as Chase Young would go a long way in accomplishing that goal. Adafi Away and David Ajabo are a promising young duo, but... Young would add another young option who demonstrated a high ceiling when he won Rookie of the Year in 2020. The Commanders did not pick up his fifth-year option after injuries limited him to 12 games and one and a half sacks over the last two seasons. The Ravens did not pick up Patrick Queen's fifth-year option either. They did, however, hand Roquan Smith a five-year, $100 million contract after trading for him midseason. He's been productive. He had 117 combined tackles and five sacks in 2022 and has played in every game since he's been drafted. The commanders would get a steady presence at linebacker while the Ravens would get an edge rusher who could help take the defense to the next level. So would you do this trade? Me? I know a lot of y'all not going to like this answer, but I would not. I wouldn't do it. I would not do it. And the reason that I wouldn't do it, Bleacher Report, they, they made it easy for me. Because this is my first time reading this part of the article. I had seen the, the headline floating around, oh, Patrick Queen for Chase Young, Chase Young for Patrick Queen. What a trade. And they ain't even got to go nowhere. They right up the street from each other. But that would be my reasoning right there. Let's read it. The commanders did not pick up his fifth-year option, Chase Young's, uh, after injuries limited him to 12 games and one and a half sacks over the last two seasons. Over the last two seasons, he's been hurt. And look, I get it. Injuries happen. Freak injuries happen. Even if somebody not injury prone throughout college and stuff, stuff happens. But I wouldn't do it. Because then, see, what, what made that worse was that how they followed it up with Patrick Queen and how available he's been. Where they said he's been productive. He had 117 combined tackles and five sacks in 2022. Oh, hey, I didn't realize he had five sacks last year. I really didn't. But anyway, but then this part, this part that gets me even more than that part does and has played in every game since he's been drafted. Every game. These two, I was reading another article about this earlier and I didn't even realize they, they from the same draft class. They from the same draft class. Patrick Queen has played in at literally every single game game i know a lot of ravens fans like to complain about patrick queen for a lot of different stuff a lot of different reasons they say he's this they say he's that some of his fiction some of his facts had to throw that in there but anyway they say a lot of stuff about patrick queen but he is always available always available through everything through the 2021 season when everybody got patrick queen is always still standing through er everything everything and that says a lot that says a whole lot now with um with chase young yeah he was a number one pick he from dc too he's a number one pick uh for a reason 
Or was he number two? No, I think he was number one. Either way, he's a super high pick because he was a baller in college. Okay, we get it. But in the NFL, and then they they did bring up the rookie of the year too. But I just I, I I wouldn't give up Patrick Queen for Chase Young. Another reason why I wouldn't do it is because yes, Chase Young high pick, all the potential is there, but. Somebody else who the Baltimore Ravens have right now Who was supposed to be a high pick He could have been top 5 Could have been top 10 at the latest He would have been top 15 Is David Ajabo David Ajabo So with Chase Young Yeah you somewhat know what you're getting But the potential hasn't been all the way unlocked And then the last couple years he's been hurt a lot missed a lot of time, but with David Ajabo, like last year he was hurt. Okay, that was his first year. That was his rookie year. So now you you're gonna start to get to see. Hopefully he can be healthy this year. And everything from everything we've been hearing so far so good. Everything's been sounding great from David Ajabo. So me, I'm rolling with that. I'm rolling with that. Now y'all know how I always feel. Hey, the more the merrier. The more quality, the better. I, yes, that's me all day. And y'all know I want everybody. But for this trade, this specific scenario, I wouldn't do it. Even with the fourth round pick that the, the commanders threw in there too. I wouldn't do it. I really wouldn't. I wouldn't. Because I just, I don't think you, uh, it, it, both of them got their fifth year options declined. So right now they they in contract years. With Patrick Queen, he's been ascending. With Chase Young, especially missing all that time over the past two years, I feel like he's been descending. And both of them got a lot to prove this year. But I feel like with Patrick Queen, you and get this too. You didn't even get a full year of him and Roquan together. You didn't even get a full year of that. But you saw, even before Roquan Smith got there, Patrick Queen had been playing better. He had been stepping his game up that much more. But then when Roquan got there, he stepped it up even more. And Roquan helped him be better. They, they just, they clicked with each other. So imagine getting a full off, they didn't have an off season together. Imagine getting a full off season and a full year of them two together. Together. We saw like a preview last year and they didn't even get to really prepare the whole year. Roquan got thrown in there in a the mix. But now they have a full offseason to prepare? What? We saw very, very brief with David Ajabo. So very, very brief with him because, again, he only played in a game and change. But a lot of y'all know what he did in college. Again, he's supposed to be a top five, top ten pick. But then the Achilles injury that took him out. And Ravens got him in the second round. So <clears throat> I'm 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 not doing it. I'm not doing it. I ain't fault anybody who would, but this is not a move that I would make at all. Again, Chase Young he could be nice, but like the way that they worded it, talking about taking um the Ravens taking their defense over the top. I mean, yeah, he will certainly help, but it would he be available? That's the thing. And based off of recent history. I don't know. And, and you know, I, I don't know the details of his injury. So I can't speak all the way on that. But he's been gone. I don't know if it's the same injury. I don't know if it's two different injuries. But the point is, he's been gone. And Patrick Queen's been there. And Patrick Queen has not only been there, but last season he was there and he was productive. And we know Patrick Queen. He can blitz. He can blitz. He ain't no edge rush or nothing like that. But he can move and he can get to that quarterback. So again, you pair him with Roquan Smith for an entire year and an entire contract year. Like Patrick Queen, he has all the reason to be motivated like crazy because he could have he could have packed it in. He could have been like, you know what? The Ravens, they traded for this inside linebacker, off ball linebacker. Hey, yeah, I know what it is now, baby. But they traded for this inside linebacker, Roquan Smith. Hey, I'm here. They drafted a linebacker in Trent Simpson. Hey, hey, I'm here. Like, well, hey, what's going on? He could have been like, you know what? Trade me. Get me out of here. I, I don't want to be here anymore. Get, 
Eric DeGasso trade and, and DeGasso I'm sure he would have done it If Patrick Queen would have asked He'd be like get, get me out of here But we haven't heard that he did I don't know if he did But I don't think he did But if he's there with the Baltimore Ravens this year Seeing that and them declining your fifth year option while all this is taking place. They done drafted somebody. They done traded for somebody and signed them to an extension. You've been here for a couple years. That person played, what, eight games for the Ravens last year? Seven, eight games, something like that. They already signed him to a contract extension. And you got your fifth year option declined. Ooh, that could set somebody off. But that's why this year is essential for Patrick. Well, every year is essential for Patrick Queen, but this year is huge. Because you got all that stuff right in your face. You're going to be reminded of it all the time. But now you got an opportunity to go out there and show yourself and show out. Oof. I'm excited for Badger Queen this year. Real excited for Badger Queen. Because he literally has every reason in front of him why he should ball out this year. Continue to ball out. So, yeah, this trade is a, a no-go for me. We out.